Hi, it's Race Taylor from 95.5 PLJ. It is Grammy Week in New York City. Welcome to our Hackensack Meridian Health Stage 17. On this Saturday morning, sitting to my left, allow me to introduce the woman who has nine number ones, 32 top 10 hits, a Grammy, an Emmy. She's nominated again, by the way, for uh, an Academy Award and a Grammy as well this year. Diane Warren. Hello. The, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. I need a little more coffee, but I'm good. It's nice of you to just show up this early in the morning. That's fine. That's and fine. this is very uncommon, but come on. I got to admit, the shoe game is killing it today. Look at that. Look, my friend Catherine right there. She Sparkly. got me these shoes. Aren't they it's cool? It's happening. They're very subtle, just like me. So you've done this award <laughs> thing so many times. Is it still a big deal for you? No, it is. I, I love it, especially like with the, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about the Grammy. I, I won one Grammy. Like, in fact, Grammys were in New York when I won for a song called Because You Loved Me. Yes. Um, that's the one Grammy I won. I think this is my 14th nomination. Um, also, what I'm really excited about is um, it's my ninth Oscar nomination. That's amazing. My third in four years. And, um, and I'm probably the most proud of this song. It's called Stand Up For Something. It's from Andrew the movie Day Marshall. Common. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Andrew Day sings it and, and with Common. An amazing uh, voice. Both of oh, those, yeah. actually. It's, it's so great. It's so timely right now. Um, I'm so excited about it. And I, I was telling you before, I, I stayed up all night. You know, the nominations are pretty early in the morning. Uh -huh. And I, I had a slumberless slumber party at my house. <laughs> I'm like, okay, who wants to come over and eat pizza and just stay up all night? So, you know, and it's like you're on pins and needles, you know. And, and I, sure. uh, I was so nervous. But <laughs> the song is so powerful and so important Thank at you. a time like this. It's called Stand Thank Up you. For Something. You work with Common and Andrew Day. And yeah. is it... Uh, a co-writing with Common, you you, know, you Common went on a plane to Sundance, yeah, right? What happened was I, I wrote, you know I wrote the song, and um, Andrew's manager and I were talking. We go, wouldn't it be great to have to have like someone like Common do a rap on it? And he happened to be sitting behind me uh, last year, basically about a year ago. I was on the way to Sundance, and I told him about the song. I sang it part of the chorus on, um, to him on the on the plane. He goes, send it to me right now, and I sent it to him. And he goes, I have to get on this song. Wow. And he, you know, his rap is fantastic. I it, it really added a lot to the song. As the songwriter, when you bring in someone like Common, do you have key words or themes that you want him to hit, or does he have free reign? He had free reign, and okay. what he came up with was, was really inspired. You can't the, go wrong. Really. Let the ways of love be the way of man. You know. I mean, just some really cool lines, you know. That is amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank what an you accomplishment. So much. Can Thank you, you take us, by the way, for anyone who's watching this who has maybe written a song or is an aspiring musician, like what is a what is a Tuesday in April like for you as a what, as a professional songwriter? What is a do Tuesday you, in April? It's, it's what do I, you go to the office? Yeah, I go to my office every day, basically. Okay, you know, and I and I just sh you know, to me, the key is showing up. So I show up to work. You mm -hmm. know, I I, I want to write great songs. You know, I want to make every song great. Do you have a specific listen from ten till one? I I'm locked in a room with a piano and no. I only write and nobody I liked, bothers I liked, me. You know, kind of, sort of. You know, I, I I love writing in the morning. Okay. You know, um, that's my favorite time. I don't like to talk to anybody and or anything. Mm -hmm. You know, till I come out to get something to eat or something. <laughs> And I'm like, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> Do people come to you and say, we're going to send you 30 seconds of a scene from a movie. Would you be interested in writing a song? Or... Yeah. Or do they say, do you already have something that might fit this scenario? I mean, it's usually I write something. If it's a movie, I write something for it. So it might be I read a script, you know, okay. um, or I see a movie, something like that, you know. Right. Or with artists, I just write songs and, fig you know, sometimes someone will come to me wanting a song or all. If I, if I write a song, I'm like, this could be totally right for this person, that person. A lot of times my songs are really open. They, they could go 10 different ways. Sure. Yeah. You know? With uh, such a variety of topics, yeah. by the way. Yeah. If we go through just a few songs, and I feel like I should um, mention for anyone who doesn't know a few that started things for you, Rhythm of the Night. Yeah, it's my first big hit. Right? Yeah, 30 uh, years ago. Wow. I wrote it when I was a toddler. Isn't that funny? That I is wrote um, songs when I was like two. Isn't that funny? Just kidding. <laughs> what is the title of the very first song that you wrote? Maybe not one that became God. a hit for someone, but as you're sussing out your craft. Um, I, I, I can't remember that yeah. many, but uh, you know. I try to forget them. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't want to miss a thing from Aerosmith, yeah. the Celine Dion song you mentioned before. Yeah, because you love me. That's my that won the Grammy. Right. You know, twenty years ago. God. Uh, share to turn back time. Yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff, and L Lady Gaga, till it happens to you. A couple now of years that ago. was from that was the song that got you the Emmy Award. It did. Yeah, and and what I'm really proud of, like with this song, with that song, and, and stand up for something. That these are songs that 
that start a conversation or help a conversation too. As Absolutely. long as it really means something, that's important to me. Did you think when you were writing and working with Lady Gaga for Till It Happens to You that now, almost two years down the road, it's crazy. we would have come to this place? I mean, I think that song started the conversation. I agree. You know, and, and because not, there's nothing like the power of music, because mm -hmm. it goes right to your heart. Right. You know, and that came from The Hunting Ground, which was about sexual assault on campuses, which, you know, opened the conversation where people didn't really talk about that. Right. You know, and then, you know, when Gaga did the song, it, it got to a, you know, a, a big audience, you know, you know, and it just it changed things. You are you uh, such a voice for that. You know, I mean, I'm, I, 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 I love that my songs can, can make a difference. Mm -hmm. I know uh, we heard earlier this week that the music community is uh, partnering uh, by wearing white roses to show support of right. the Me Too movement. Will you right. be part of that? Will yeah, you do that absolutely, as well? Absolutely, absolutely. Amazing. Um, yeah. If there is one general commentary about uh, the songwriting or the music of today, uh, I can look at songs like the Logic song about suicide, right, like Kesha's Praying, yeah. like your song from the yeah. Marshall movie. Yeah. We're certainly not stepping away from addressing some of the right. major issues. Right. It's almost like a throwback to the, you know, to some of the late '60s or '70s. Yeah. But I love that, and I think, and when I like, for instance, like when I was writing "Stand Up for Something," I listened to "Change Is Going to Come," and I listened to those records from that time. Uh huh. You know, and just thought, like, I want to, I want to you know, write something that's inspiring like that. Because it was hopeful, too. It wasn't just, you know, you know what I mean? It, there, was a, there was hope to it. Right. But as someone who writes, participates, and obviously listens, yeah. is there one thing in the music industry today that you think might be uh, missing? One piece that you think could make the industry as a whole better? I don't know. I just think everybody standing up is going to make everything better. Right. You know, especially right. what's going on and I'm not sure if that's musically, but what's happening in the in say the film side of stuff of, of things and, and and every other side of 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 entertainment it's going to happen in the music business too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cuz there's a lot of that. We uh knowing that you were going to come see us did a, a little bit of scouring of your social profile. Uh-oh. Your Twitter <laughs> followers. Uh-oh. Your Insta feed. Yeah, you see my Twitter, it's like yeah, I get yeah. I I love it. <laughs> you are a passionate person. Thank you, yeah. And I've also noticed that in the past month or so, you've bumped into a few people that we should maybe discuss, like your last conversation with Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, she's, um, she ho she, I mean, she's great. I, I'd, I'd sent her the, the song, Stand Up For Something, and she loved it. Okay. And she came and it was so nice where she came and hosted our screening for the song, mm -hmm. you know, last month. Um, which was amazing of her to do that. And it has already won an award, know. is that correct? It's won a, a Hollywood Film Award. Okay. Um, it's won, yeah, it's won a few awards, actually. And um, uh, there's one, there's, I'm hoping for one that comes in March. Sometime early March, yeah, right? Right after March all 4th. that Olympic action. It'd be nice. I've never, I've never, um, I haven't won yet. You know, it's my ninth nomination, so. We'll be pulling for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a performance of that song on that night. You yeah. as the songwriter, are you part of how that song is creatively presented, or is that up to the producers or the artists? It's up to the producers, up to the artists, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I saw on your feed an amazing shot from when Andra and Common performed that song on the Colbert Show. Were oh you in the God. audience, or were you... No, I was, wa I was, I was watching it at home. Wow. I mean, the thing is, every time that song's performed, people just go crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was at, at the um, NAACP Awards last week. <clears throat> I mean, people stood on their feet for like five minutes and wouldn't sit down. And ACLU and right. uh, CNN Heroes used the song for, for that and used oh it for gosh. other commercials. I mean, just it just really it resonates. Yes. And, and, and as a songwriter, there's nothing better than that. You can't ask for more than that. No. On your Twitter feed, I saw a picture from uh, earlier this month with Paul McCartney. Yeah, I, I, I ran into Paul McCartney. <laughs> How does that happen? Is that at a show of his? It was, it was his daughter, um, Stella McCartney, had a like a, 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 a some kind of a party for her new um, okay. clothes and, and, and stuff. And I was there, and um, I, I'd actually, I'd met him a couple times before, um, mm -hmm. So it was, it's like he was, he's a hero of mine. So it's like uh, you referenced him in the photo as a, a fellow songwriter. I don't know if I'm a fellow on that fellow. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, he's a fellow songwriter, but he's Paul McCartney, and Absolutely. I'm way down. Slower. I was uh, fortunate <laughs> enough to see his last tour, and wow. what was uh, amazing about a, a show like that is you can bring out all these hit songs and, and all the pyro and everything mm -hmm. else, but the moment was him alone with the guitar. Yesterday, singing yesterday. Yesterday and Blackbird. Yeah. yeah. Can't, can't beat it, right? right? Anyone who can command the power of a room like that with just their voice and their instrument. And, and the power of the songs. Yes, which is where it all begins, Absolutely, 
Absolutely. You're a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame? I am. Where I am. do all of these accolades sit? In your house? In your office? In my office. Okay. Um, and I don't think about it because I'm always on to the next song. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I, I mean, it's great to win awards. And again, you know, I'm not going to like say I don't want to win, you know, an Oscar. I would love right. that. Um, but, you know, I don't do it for that. Right, right. right. You know? But it's like, you know, but it's great. It's great to be, even to be nominated, like, for a Grammy or for an Oscar or, or, or anything is, or, or an Emmy. It's like your peers are finding, you know, there's a lot of, look at all the songs that are released every year. Sure. You know. Now it's more than ever great. because there are so many different platforms. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's kind of funny. A few years ago, was it two years ago? I was nominated for a song from Justin Bieber. It was like maybe five years ago. And Cher. And it's like the age difference was 50 years. Right, it's <laughs> tremendous. So it's kind of cool. It's like, wow. You know, so I, like, I, I don't take it for granted. I, I, I'm very appreciative. It's, it's, it's amazing to be acknowledged for your work. And yeah. as we uh, talk about looking at the, the next generation or moving on to the next thing, yeah. um, I'll just toss a couple names out there, and we'll start with a, a band we've been playing a lot. Someone told me that you may have um, changed contact information with the guys from Walk the Moon. Oh, yeah, we met, we met at one of, God, what was that? This radio thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta find their number. <laughs> All right, very talented guys. Yeah, yeah. You I know, like that band. so much energy. Yeah. Um, I've seen your name associated in uh, the press recently with uh, Demi Lovato. Yeah, you know, yeah, we we were talking about doing some stuff. Too. Okay, so. Jason Derulo. Yeah, I did a great song for him, a really great song that I, I hope he puts it out because I, I think he'd be at next year's Grammys with that oh, for Vocal that would of the be Year. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's a great song. His that performance is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, the Grammys just very quickly. Um, your biggest Grammy memory, aside from you winning. The, hmm. Because the night is always filled with collaborations, surprises. You know, my, my, the one that, I, that st stands out to me as, a, as being at the Grammys, you mean? Mm -hmm. When Ricky Martin sang... Oh, um, oh, um, La Vida Loca? No, he sang um, the, the other song, the... Um, yeah, I'm zoning on the, the title right soccer, now. soccer, what's it called? Yep. The, you know. Uh, yeah, it sound, yeah, I mean. <coughs> huh? Thank you very much. Cup of life. Yeah, I mean, just being in the audience, because I think I was nominated for the Aerosmith song that right. year or something. Um, and being in the audience and seeing the electricity of that, right. it was like amazing. That whole room was it like, was like what was this? Yeah. It was totally it's like, okay, a star just came. A star was, you know. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So that was, that was an amazing moment. After um, the uh, Academy Awards, uh, for you, what does the rest of your year look like? Are Just you working on things for yeah. movies that we'll see in the fall? Yeah, yeah, lots of lots of movies, lots of working with a lot of artists, some exciting things in the works. I like to you hear know? that. Yeah. I like to hear yeah. that. All right, um, if we could just ask you a couple really quick Grammy-related questions okay. because they are right down here. Um, you already mentioned where you keep your hardware. Yeah. You already mentioned your biggest memory. Yeah. What is uh, the first thing you remember about the Grammy Awards? Wow. You know what? <clears throat> I don't have one exact memory, but I remember, always remember watching them and wishing I was on there, and someday I want to be on, I want to get a Grammy. Wow. Yeah. You know? Isn't it amazing so, when yeah. dreams come true like yeah, that? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And, I mean, if like, like, cause I'm so busy on to the next thing. If I just sit back and go, wow. You know, I've been nominated for 14 Grammys or look at, you know, or Oscars and, you know, nominations. It's like, wow, how many people? So I'm really lucky, but I'm always so busy going on to the next thing. I don't sit back, you know, and right. think about it much. And but there was did, something about the award shows back then because you couldn't just open up a phone and see your yeah, favorite I mean, I'm, celebrities or I'm sitting in Van Nuys and, and, you know, I'm from the Valley in L.A., you know, and, you know, my dad's an insurance man. My mom's a, a, a homemaker. You know, I don't, I didn't know anybody in the music business. So mm -hmm. I was a kid watching that. It was a million, you know, light years away. Who um, <coughs> directed you toward music? Was it me? piano lessons no, at no, the God. age of any? My dad took me to guitar lessons, and they told him not to bring me back. That I was tone deaf, because yeah. I didn't want to learn scales. <laughs> you know, No, it's like me. I just wanted to, I wanted to do this since I was like a kid. Nothing, no one was going to stop me. Right. One yeah. of those passions where yeah. you do it whether you make $5, $50, Yeah, I, don't do, I never did it for the money. We were just, me and my friends were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. It's never been about the money. Right, right. Never. Well, we can't thank you enough for taking a couple minutes to join us here and above thank and you. beyond all of that for providing what has really been the soundtrack of our lives and some thank of our you. most important moments. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Diane Warren, Grammy nominated for the song Stand Up For Something. Thank you.
Grammy night and the Oscars on the 4th. Thank you so much for checking into our Hackensack Meridian Stage 17. We will be back with more as Grammy Week continues in New York City with 95.5 PLJ.